This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. How you can help a local woman fighting cancer at a benefit this weekend. That and more next. Welcome everyone and thank you so much for your time today. I'm Ken Carr with your information. This weekend, a fire company in the area will host a benefit to help a local woman who is battling stage four brain cancer. In today's news feature, Lisa Sugar talks with the woman's husband and one of the organizers for this special fundraising effort. The Greater Hazleton area is coming together to help out one of their own the owner of a very popular restaurant in our area, Nicole Bockert. It is a benefit for Nicole Bockert, and she and her husband, Clinton, are the owners of Tom's Kitchen in Sugarloaf, very well known on Route 93 in the Valley. I'm pleased to be joined by Clinton Bockert today, and also Dr. Eugene Gorski, who is a member of the Sugarloaf Fire Company that is helping to organize this benefit for Nicole. Thank you both so much for joining me. Clinton, I'm gonna start with you. This benefit is for your wife because she's going through a tough time right now. So uh, tell us why this benefit had to be held. We really wanted to see the outreach of the community. Um, and they really banded together to, to show us an outrageous amount, an amazing amount of support. Um, from people calling from our hometown to people calling from Sugarloaf, Cunningham, Drums, wilkes Bear, everybody has really banded together to either donate or show up or to really just give support and, and background knowledge that they have on this has really just uplifted her spirits greatly. And, and we really, really appreciate it. Oh, that's wonderful. I mean, this community does definitely have a heart. People like to help those that are going through a tough time. And uh, so now there is an event scheduled. It's called the Benefit for Nicole Bockard on Sunday, August 14th. It is being held at the Sugarloaf Fire Company, 95 West County Road in Sugarloaf, from 11 a.m. until 5 p.m. And Dr. Jean Gorski is one of the organizers of this event. So tell us all about it, why you wanted to do this for Nicole and for Clinton, and what's going to be taking place. I'm the mouth of this event. The people who are putting this together are the minions that are from Tom's Kitchen and the minions that are from the Sugarloaf Fire Hall. So that includes uh, Helen, it includes Brenda, and then we got Nancy and Vanessa and Mary Beth. They've been working very, very hard, and the outpouring has been absolutely phenomenal. Lisa, don't you think it's time that you've won something? <laughs> yes, I do. I think it's time that I won something. So well, I understand there's going to be tricky trays. Yep, that's right. You come on out and you buy your tickets and you pick out what you want. And it's time for you to feel the love and ride the karma. You're going to come on out and you're going to win. And that's everybody else that shows up. So I'm looking forward to a great people. And I'm looking forward to the love that lives here in this valley. I'm looking forward to people coming out and just having a good time. Uh, my cousin Jimmy Giebel will be providing entertainment. There'll be 50-50 drawings. So many opportunities to eat well and win. You don't need to be present to win, so that's nice. So if people come out, they don't have to stay through the whole event if they don't want. They can just come get their tickets and eat and go. Um, so this, this will be a wonderful event. And, Clinton, this is going to help your family with medical expenses because when something like this happens, there's always a lot of expense on the family. And you both are running a new business that you're, you're just recent owners for just like the past few years that you took over Tom's Kitchen. Yes, uh, we took it over about three years ago. Um, it, it was a rough go through 2020, uh, 2021. We had a huge outpour from the community to come out. That's still continuing. We appreciate everybody who comes to the restaurant. Um, she used to work there every day, six days a week, just like, just like me. Um, and, and everyone misses her there. Um, she wants to come back. Uh, she'll be at the uh, event for as long as she possibly can. Uh, so come in, say hi to her, show your support. And just really, uh, you know, bring, bring your heart. Let's put it that way. I'm sure people will. Uh, our viewers are wonderful. The whole area is wonderful. So, again, this is the benefit for Nicole Bockert on Sunday, August 14th, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. 
uh, Sugarloaf Fire Company, 95 West County Road, easy to find. So tricky trays, a raffle, food, entertainment, a bake sale. And big ticket items. Oh, big ticket items. Any hints on what they might be? Items. Let's just say that when football season rolls around, you'll be styling. Oh, that sounds very intriguing. I think that uh, we have a lot of football viewers in our audience, so that should definitely do it. Listen, gentlemen, I hope this is a tremendous success. Clinton, please give all of our best to your wife, Nicole. Everybody will be praying that she's doing well, and we hope this benefit is a complete success and that everyone will come out and support you guys. And if anybody wants to continue to donate, we'll be happy to accept them. Just give us a call at the firehouse. All right. That's very good. If you'd like to donate, you can't come out or you want to give a donation in, in addition to, please contact the Sugarloaf Fire Company to help the benefit for Nicole. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Today's news feature is brought to you by Falvello Law Firm. Have you been injured in a car accident? Call Falvello Law Firm. Your case is our fight. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service. On Wednesday, a slight chance of showers between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m., then a chance of showers and thunderstorms after 2 p.m. It'll be partly sunny with a high near 80 degrees. We have a 30% chance of precipitation. On Wednesday night, a chance of showers and thunderstorms mainly before 2 a.m. It'll be mostly cloudy with a low around 63 degrees. We have a 30% chance of precipitation. On Thursday, sunny with a high near 82 degrees. Thursday night, mostly clear with a low around 55 degrees. Friday, sunny with a high near 74 degrees. Friday night, clear with a low around 51 degrees. Saturday is sunny with a high near 76 degrees, and Saturday night mostly clear with a low around 54 degrees. The Standard Speaker has a preview of the 2022 Hazleton Area High School football team online right now that you could check out. Football is getting so close, and we'll have a bunch of football previews coming your way soon on SSP TV News. But coming up next, a look at Kagan Fest 2022. This event is big, this event is fun, and this event helps raise a lot of money to help kids with kidney disease. In sports, Stephanie Moyer from Shepton lets us know how season two is going in the ARCA Series East for her and her team. Plus, she'll look back on her recent race at Pocono. Here's tonight's social news. The Freeland Neighborhood Crime Watch and the Freeland Recreation Board will be honoring police and first responders on Saturday, August 13th from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. at Freeland Public Park. There will be demonstrations of police cars, the police canine unit, ambulances, and fire trucks. There will also be food, games, tricky trays, and much more. All proceeds will help the Freeland Police Department purchase equipment. Hazleton Public Transit has announced that 95 Summer Loop Service will end Friday, August 19th at 9.44 p.m. Penn State Route 90 will resume service on Monday, August 22nd at 6.15 a.m. And that's tonight's Talk of the Town. SSP TV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of the following. Nancy L. Hassel of Mountaintop, formerly of Whitehaven. The service is Friday at 11 a.m. at Whitehaven United Methodist Church. Friends and family may call Friday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the church. The Lehman Family Funeral Service in Whitehaven is handling arrangements. And John Sy Sywell of Hazleton. The service is Thursday at 10 a.m. at Freeroll Funeral Service in Hazleton. Friends and family may call Wednesday from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the funeral home. The obituary report is brought to you by Moran Funeral Home, third generation family owned funeral home serving all faiths since 1939. Located at 229 West 12th Street in Hazleton, call 570 454 8341 and go to moranfuneralhome.com.